some churches where the statues have got to be the ugliest things you have ever seen in your life. I've seen statues so ugly that I think the artists, you know, that, that the saint in heaven ought to have the right to come down and smack the ball. You know what I mean? There's some ugly stuff out there. Like, one of my favorite saints to talk about with ugly statues is Saint Anne. Saint Anne was Mary's mom. Almost every statue of Saint Anne is of this woman who's about 90-something years old who had a really rough life. She's got this look on her face like, Burr. and I'm just thinking, wait, 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 time out, time out. You were Mary's mom. That means your child was born, was born without the stain of original sin. How much trouble could you have had? <laughs> I'm thinking if your, your child was this perfect little innocent angel with a little light on the back of her head, I'm telling you, like, like, you wouldn't have to have this rough life. But Anne is always picturing But I don't think, I can't figure out why they would always picture Anne as this old woman. Because like, in the statue, she's old, and there's always like a little girl to represent the Blessed Mother. And the girl is like 12. Well, ain't nothing in the Bible saying that Ann popped out that baby when she was 80. <laughs> so I'm thinking that she only could be about 20 years older than Mary. And every statue of Mary we have, every image of Mary from, from you know, anywhere around the world, always a gorgeous woman. Always gorgeous. So you would think that if Mary is that pretty, like in fact, the only place Mary ever painted her own picture, do y'all know where it is? Guadalupe. That's when she, you know, Juan, Juan Diego had the little, the roses on its apron, and when he unfolded it by the bishop, this gorgeous picture of the Blessed Mother was on it. Not only did she paint her own picture, but she had a tan. And so I'm saying, <laughs> I'm just throwing that out. And so, but like, like, this gorgeous picture. So you would think, if Mary was that pretty, her mama would be pretty too. Yeah. In fact, gentlemen, if you want to know what your little girlfriend gonna look like in about 20 years, check out the mom. <laughs> but don't check out too long, because that's just sick. Oh my God. So what I'm telling you, you would think that Anne would have some pretty stuff. So if any of y'all around when I become a saint, this is my statue. Oh. <laughs> Now, if they get it wrong, I promise you I'm going to haunt you. <laughs> you're going to be 90 years old in the, in, the, in the nursing home, going along, and you're going to fall for no reason. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Oh so you got to make sure to get my statue right, and if they mess it up, I'm coming back. I'm telling y'all, that's going to be a mess. <laughs> but you know, you know I, I know I'm going to be a saint. Because I've seen miracles happen right before my own eyes. Because the other day, I was in church getting ready for mass, and one of my little altar servers ran in. He's like, Father, Father, Father. I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, let me tell you what I saw. I said, well, what did you see? He said, I saw a man come in church. And he was walking with crutches. And he walked up to the holy water. And he took some water and he rubbed it on his leg. Then he took his crutch and he threw it in the air. <laughs> then he took some more holy water, rubbed it on his other leg, took his other crutch, and he threw it in the air. I said, baby, that's a miracle. Where that man at? He said, flat on his butt. Right <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make him up. I just repeat him. <laughs> the other day, I was walking down the street, and I noticed this pack of boys all standing around this dog. And every time I look at them, they start giggling. And I'm thinking, they about to hurt that dog. So I walked up, I was like, excuse me, gentlemen, I know you're not going to hurt that dog. And the boy looked up and said, no, 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 father. We love the dog. We decided whoever could tell the biggest lie could have the dog. <laughs> so one little boy raised his hand. He said, my daddy is LeBron James. Played basketball with me every Sunday. They're like, Pfft. Nah, nah. Another boy raised his hand. He said, my daddy is Barack Obama. I can go anywhere in the country I want to. They're like, nah, nah. Another boy raised his hand. He said, my daddy is Bill Clinton. You never know, but you're like, no, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. Well, I was getting upset. I was like, excuse me, gentlemen. But don't you know a lion is a sin? It says that in the Bible. Thou shalt not bear for this witness against thy neighbor. That means you ain't supposed to lie. When I 
was your age, I never told a lie. <laughs> the little boy looked up and said, give him the dog. <laughs> Needless to say, I do have a very nice dog now. <laughs> I actually, I, I live with a, 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 a pretty, pretty dog. She's, you know, got big brown eyes. She's, uh, you know, about 120 pounds. She's a Rottweiler named Pepper. <laughs> she is, she's a hot dog, I'm telling you. Pepper, Pepper's like the coolest dog in the world. She's got like her own Facebook page with like 600 friends. I'm telling you, and they leave her messages too. <laughs> And she responds. That's the scary part. But like, like Pepper's like so cool, you know. But I got a rock baller because I actually do live in one of the toughest neighborhoods in the city of New Orleans. So if you lived in my neighborhood, you need to have a rock baller or a pistol. I got both. <laughs> I ain't lying, cause you know, you, you might get past the dog, but you ain't gonna hurt my mama's baby. That's just the way it is. <laughs> I will shoot you and then anoint you so you can get better. That's the way. <laughs> And so I'm telling you, <laughs> the drug so cool. but like, like you know, Pepper, Pepper's like the, the cool, cool dog. You know, Pepper living that life. Pepper has her own room. She has her own sofa. When I leave home, we put the TV on Animal Planet so she can watch her friends. And so, like, like, and like every day, three different people come throughout the day to spend time with her. That's how spoiled this dog is. And so, like, like Pepper's like the coolest dog in the world. And like every now and then, we'll go take a little walk outside in our neighborhood. And I don't mind walking through my neighborhood. I mean, I got a Rottweiler. If you can get past the Rottweiler, you good. And so, so like, we'll go walking around the neighborhood, and, and people like, you know, we normally will go across the street from our church. There's like a, a nice city park, you know, a couple of basketball courts, a football field, a baseball diamond, a Olympic sized pool. It's a really nice little park. So normally I can just take the leash off and she go run around the park. But for one, one day, for one reason, I don't know why, Peppa decided she wanted to walk down the street. Now, at first, I'm thinking, you know, Pepper, I don't mind walking in our neighborhood, you know, because I know almost everybody there. I've been, been there about 12 years, so I think, you know, we can walk. But, but the only thing is, about, I guess, a, a, a block and a half away from my church, we have a very historic cemetery. Dead people been in there since the 1800s. And I don't know about y'all. <laughs> But this brother don't like going by cemeteries. <laughs> now, I ain't gonna lie, cause I'm scared of dead people. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, like you know, I know that people are like, how can a priest be afraid of dead people? Like, we supposed to like them? I mean, what's the issue here? You know, like, I do funerals and stuff, but like, like you know, the, the scary part is like, you know, like, like, you go to the funeral, and you walk in, and they want you to bless the body, but they want you, like, to touch them. I don't touch them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, you know, like, it's like the eeriest thing in the world. When I go to funerals, I pray that the family is sitting down in the pew or in the little chairs so that like I can lean over the coffin and fake like I'm touching them because I really don't want them. I would hit them with the holy water. I don't want to touch them. <laughs> Ain't nothing I can do for them. They gone by no more. I mean, that's the thing I can do. And so like, like, I'm, like I'm so scared of dead people, I ain't gonna lie. So I, I told Pepper, we gonna walk down the street. But if it start getting dark, we got to get back home. Cause I ain't gonna be by no graveyard at nighttime. <laughs> it just ain't happening. Well, me and Pepper started walking down the street and we walked about maybe 10 blocks. And I noticed that the sun was going down. So I was like, you know, girl, we need to go back home. So we turned around and we started to walk back home. And it seemed like the closer we got to the cemetery, the darker it started to get. <laughs> like every block the sun went down more. By the time we got to the outside wall of the cemetery, it was pitch black like midnight. <laughs> but I'm not scared though, because I got a rock wall. <laughs> I mean like if something come out of the grave, it's going to be bones, a dog like bones. I'm good with it. <laughs> <laughs> but as we walked by the wall, I ain't going to sleep. I heard a noise coming from inside the cemetery. It was like, Dun, dun. <laughs> but I'm not scared though, because I got the wild wild. <laughs> it was like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I gotta tell y'all, when I started hearing that noise, 
I started thinking, y'all know in the movies when that music starts, y'all know what's going to happen. <laughs> and my people the first to go. So <laughs> And the coffin stopped. <laughs> 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 